Hello dears, I hope you are all doing great. It's a misconception that when it comes to preparing for UGC NET English literature, the main focus should be on British literature. Sorry to break it to you guys, but that is not the case. You have to not just study British literature, but also American, Canadian, Indian, African literature and more. When you analyze the past year's question papers, you will be able to understand that American literature is very important for the UGC NET exam and many questions are seen to be asked from this area. Since there are so many authors in American literature, you all might be confused regarding which are the ones that are the most important. In our last video, we discussed five important American writers already. Today, we'll cover five more. This will finally familiarize you with 10 major American writers, making your preparation process smoother than before. Let us talk about five important authors from American literature that you should never ever miss during your UGC net preparation so that American literature will become a piece of cake for you. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every Sunday, as soon as I upload a new video, you are the first one to know about it. We are proud to share that we are India's largest YouTube channel in the field of UGC net exam preparation. So without further delay, let's get to the video. So, should we talk about the first writer of our list? We heard a big yes. Here we go. The writer we are going to talk about is Ralph Waldo Emerson, a true titan of American literature. Imagine the mid-19th century in America, a time bubbling with brilliant ideas. Emerson stood tall as a philosopher, essayist and poet, leading the charge in the transcendentalist movement. This group of thinkers celebrated individuality, self-reliance, and the deep bond between humans and nature. Emerson's essays, such as Self-Reliance and Nature, are timeless gems, encouraging readers to trust their own instincts and crave their own paths in life. His words act like a gentle breeze, nudging you to embrace your uniqueness and uncover truth in the world around you. In nature, Emerson takes readers on a journey through the wonders of the natural world, he celebrates the beauty and majesty of nature, inviting us to reconnect with the earth and find solace in its embrace. This essay serves as a gentle reminder that amidst the chaos of modern life, there is profound wisdom to be found in the simplicity of a flower or the whisper of the wind. Emerson's writing aren't just words on a page. They are beacons of light guiding us towards a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Let's explore a query about Ralph Waldo Emerson that came in the recent UGC NET exam. Which of the following is not true of Ralph Waldo Emerson? I'm highlighting not true. So always uh, guys pay attention and you know get the idea clear. Not true means key which is not correct. Hame false dhoonna hai. So sometimes you could quickly browse the question and true hum pad lete hai, not bhool jate hai and then the question is completely wrong. So in short, look for something that is false about Ralph Waldo Emerson. So these are the options in front of you. Take your time and think about it. The correct answer is E. He wrote essays on New England scenery, woodcraft and plantations. So this is something he never spoke about. The second major American writer that we are going to talk about is Langston Hughes. Langston Hughes was an essential part of the Harlem Renaissance, a period bursting with African-American cultural expression. He was born in 1902 in Missouri, and his writing became a mirror reflecting the experiences of black people in America. One of Langston Hughes' uh, notable works is The Negro Speaks of Rivers, a poem that traces the history of African-Americans through the metaphor of rivers. So in it, Hughes celebrates the ancient rivers of the world, connecting them to the enduring spirit of black people. This poem is a poignant reminder of the deep roots and diverse experiences within the black community. The Weary Blues is another masterpiece by Langston Hughes, capturing the soulful essence of jazz music and its impact on African-American culture. Through vivid imagery and rhythmic language, Hughes transports readers to the smoky clubs and vibrant streets of Harlem where the blues serve as both a form of expression and a source of solace. 
This poem not only showcases Hughes's uh, poetic talent but also highlights the importance of music in black life. Overall Langston Hughes' legacy continues to resonate today as a beacon of hope and inspiration. His ability to capture the essence of the African American experience through poetry and prose has solidified his place as one of the most important writers in American history. Through his work, Hughes reminds us of the power of literature to ignite change and foster empathy, making him a vital figure for those preparing for the UGC NET exam. The third important writer from the list of American writers is Walt Whitman. Now picture this towering figure with a wild beard, shaking up the poetry scene in the 1800s like nobody else. In 1855, he drops a bombshell of a book called Leaves of Grass and bam, poetry was never the same again. No more fancy rhymes or strict structures, Whitman said. Nah, let's just go with the flow. His words celebrated individuality. nature and the whole human experience and let's not forget his iconic piece song of myself where he's basically like hey world check me out whitman's poetry was like a love letter to humanity shouting out loud about equality and the beauty of being alive now let's zoom in on two major texts that showcase whitman's uh, genius leaves of grass his magnum opus is a poetic manifesto that broke all the rules and set a new standard for what poetry could be it's a celebration of life liberty and the pursuit of happiness with whitman's unmistakable voice ringing out loud and clear on every page and then there's song of myself a tour de force of poetic bravado that's as bold and audacious as its author in this epic poem whitman sings the praises of himself and the world around him daring readers to join him on a journey of self discovery and enlightenment Beyond these two towering achievements, Whitman penned a host of other important texts that deserve a mention. O Captain, My Captain is a poignant tribute to Abraham Lincoln, capturing the nation's grief in the wake of his assassination. I Think the Body Electric celebrates the beauty and diversity of the human body. While When Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Bloomed is a haunting elegy for Lincoln and the fallen soldiers of the Civil War. Together these works form a rich tapestry of American poetry with Whitman's voice ringing out clear and strong across the ages. Let's explore a query about Walt Whitman that came in recent UGC NET exam. The question was who among the following is mourned in Walt Whitman's O Captain My Captain. So we have just discussed and your options are on the screen. And you are right, the correct answer is none other than Abraham Lincoln, the option number 4. So you're excited to learn more about these American writers but feeling a bit lost? Don't worry, we have got you covered. Our crash course covers all the important topics you need to know to excel in the units for UGC NET English Paper 2 and Paper 1 as well. Thereby we teach American literature in depth. We also offer test series for both UGC NET Paper 1 and Paper 2 English featuring over 3000 unit wise questions with detailed explanations. After each test you'll receive a detailed performance report and see your ranking on the All India Leaderboard helping you to identify your strengths and weaknesses. Ready to join our online course or test series? Just dial the number on screen or send us WhatsApp message for more details. Our team will be very happy to assist you. Now when we are dealing with five major American writers there is no way we can miss mentioning Harper Lee, the fourth from the list. She's a literary legend whose name rings bells in the world of books. Picture a quaint town in Alabama, the backdrop for her unforgettable novel To Kill a Mockingbird. This masterpiece, published in 1960, takes us on a journey through themes of racial injustice and personal growth, all through the eyes of a young girl named Scout Finch. It's no surprise it snagged the Pulitzer Prize for fiction the next year, becoming an instant classic. So Lee's knack for capturing southern life and human complexities earned her a spot in literary history. Interestingly, her second novel, Go Set a Watchman, was written before To Kill a Mockingbird but released much later, stirring up quite the buzz. Despite the chatter, Harper Lee's impact on literature remains profound. Additionally, Lee's essays and letters provide valuable insights into her life and writing process, shedding light on the mind behind the masterpieces. Together these works form a rich tapestry of storytelling showcasing Harper Lee's enduring legacy in the literary world. Then we have last but not the least 
Edgar Allan Poe. He is the original master of spooky tales, the kind that sends shivers down your spine and makes you peek under your bed before you sleep. Poe isn't just about scares, he is all about delving deep into the human psyche, especially the dark and mysterious parts. Now let's zoom in on two major works that showcase Poe's genius. The Telltale Heart is a chilling tale of murder and madness where the narrator's guilt manifests in a relentless beating heart. It's a masterclass in psychological horror, with Poe expertly building tension until it reaches a terrifying climax. Then there's The Raven, a haunting poem that explores themes of grief, loss and the supernatural. With its repetitive refrain and airy atmosphere, it's a mesmerizing journey into the depths of despair. Beyond these two iconic works, Poe penned a host of other important texts that have left a lasting impact on literature. The Fall of the House of Usher is a gothic masterpiece that explores themes of isolation and madness. While The Mask of the Red Death is a chilling allegory of mortality and the inevitability of death, The Pit and the Pendulum plunges readers into the horrors of the Spanish Inquisition while the cask of Amontillado is a tale of revenge and betrayal set in the catacombs of Italy. Together, these works cement Poe's legacy as one of America's greatest literary figures, with his stories continuing to captivate and terrify readers to this day. Now, friends, it's time for a quick question that came recently in UGC Net exam about Edgar Allan Poe. The question was, Edgar Allan Poe is often called as the originator of the short story as an established genre. He defined the prose tale as, and the options are as follows. And my friends, the correct option is option 1, a narrative which can be read at one sitting off from half an hour to two hours. And there you have it, five important authors from American literature who are crucial for UGC Net English preparation. We hope this video was helpful for all the net aspirants out there. Share your thoughts on the video and comment down the name of your favorite American authors. Your feedback really matters to us and we look forward to reading your comments. If you find this video helpful, do show your valuable support by clicking the like button and sharing it with your fellow UGC net English aspirants. So it's time for us to wind up this video. We promise we'll be back soon with exciting video lectures soon. Until then, keep learning, maintain your passion for literature and stay engaged with arpitakarva.com.